hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel it's lillian as always if you're just seeing me for the first time my name is lillian adane i'm a mom youtuber who stays in abuja nigeria i vlog i do lifestyle relationship anything family and if you know you've not subscribed or you're just a person by please do hit on the subscribe button please subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel and then under like make sure you comment follow me up you know join the family i promise you guys you will not regret it so today our topic today is what people don't tell you about being a mom so there are so many things people don't actually tell us about being a new mom about being a mom a young mom a new mom or a mom for the first time so there are so many things about there are so many journey from the pregnancy to the um to the to child birth then after the childbirth so today let me just start with new mom what people don't tell you about being a mom so number one thing people don't actually tell you about being a mom sacrificing for basic needs there are so many things you just have to sacrifice for yourself personally apart from your own baby so there are so many things you sacrifice like yeah so you, things you do you don't do them no more yeah when you're supposed to eat but because your baby is crying you have to feed when you are supposed to go back because because your baby is crying you have to sacrifice and still feed there are so many things you sacrifice as a new mom but they don't tell us that there are so many sacrifices that is supposed to be done when after the child people don't tend to tell us those things yeah number two is you have 24 hour shift as a new mom as a new mom <laughs> You know, there's a difference between working for somebody and then you are being paid. You are not being paid for anything, though. No. You do shift morning, afternoon, night, midnight. Nobody tells, like me when I was pregnant, nobody told me that there's midnight after childbirth. No. 24 hours shift in time of that one. You got to wake up in the midnight. Sometimes if you don't sleep till 5 o'clock, that's when some baby sleep. Like my own baby, she sleep once it's 5, 4. That's when she sleeps. So I have to wake up from 12 o'clock in the morning till 4. Then we both sleep together. Because it's best for you to sleep when the baby is asleep. But when the baby is awake, you cannot sleep. So you sacrifice as a new mom. People don't tend to tell you that there's midnight, uh, midnight all night after childbirth. They don't tell you those things. So there's sacrifices in all those words. You tend to feed from morning to night. Yes, you, you, you do night with you as a new mom. So I'm saying it, you do not every day as a mom. Number three is you have to keep on breastfeeding. I would not like to you. When I was actually pregnant, nobody told me that you have to breastfeed 24 hours if you are doing exclusive. Um, nobody told me something like that, even though you're not doing exclusive. I was thinking probably when the baby comes out, even though you are doing exclusive, you will just breastfeed the baby and then put her inside her bed or him inside the bed and then she or he will just sleep off but i did not know there is 24 hours breastfeeding like 24 hour um 24 hour breastfeeding you just have to keep on breastfeeding you just have to keep on breastfeeding 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 even when you are tired you just have to keep on breastfeeding so yes people don't tend to tell you about all those number four number four is that you are going to feel like there is no ending in terms of so many things like you are going to feel like you'll be so tired you will you'll be so tired of everything you're, you're going to be feel like god when is this world going to end when is this baby going to get to six six or three months for me to rest a little when is this baby going to get to one year when is she or he going to grow up but you will be so tired because you know that your baby is one of your priority so yes your baby is one of your priority so you will feel like <laughs> is there no ending in this work you know sometimes people will get to work and then feel like rest a little but no if you have the kind of baby my own baby she she don't normally sleep always yeah so you feel like <laughs> What is this baby doing? As in, Biko, can I have a break on this job? Can I have a break? Some, you know, some job like this, you suck, you resign yourself. But this kind of one, as a new mom, you get to be there for your baby. There's no resign. There's no go nowhere. People don't tend to tell you something like that. If is, you feel like a professionist. Um, there's um, there is no professional nanny. I don't know how to say it, but. You feel like you're a professional on your own self. People don't tell you that this is what to do, this is what to do. Because when you get, when you deliver your child, so many people will come 
and then they will say no don't bath her like this no don't rub her the cream like this no don't rub her this one on her head no don't rub this one so many people will bring their own advice and then you just them to pick from those ones and then do the needful for yourself and then you still feel like you are the professional you feel feel like a professional on your own self so people don't tell to tell you other things number six is being paranoid almost every time yes getting angry so easily that is one of the most things it happens to me it's happening to me now any little thing you get angry any little thing you get angry but one of the good thing is that when you remember your baby and you remember yourself you you feel yourself so free and you don't just take it to the heart yeah you don't take it to the heart but childbirth after childbirth makes you angry because sometimes maybe we even do something that will make you angry the baby will do something that will make you so angry be like can't you keep quiet and then you'll be like you shout on the baby yes being paranoid every time because you overstressing you overstretching yourself so yeah paranoid being angry almost every time is one of the um whatever is body issues your body won't go back as it was so easily it takes gradual process it's a gradual process but people don't tend to tell you that after childbirth you have to wait for like six months or for like three months for your body to go back the same way it was so to go back the same way it was so people don't tend to tell you short things but after but after um after childbirth it takes time for your body to go back and it's it's all about maintenance people don't tell you that you have to maintain yourself for you to look good for you to look smart for you for you to look charming so people don't tell but it is that people tend to judge you so much yeah people tend to judge you in terms of so many things mostly new mom young mom or single mom people tend to judge everything they do every single thing they do so people tend to judge you as a new mom you are get you are bound to receive many criticism i will not lie to you many criticism and you just have to keep on going because there's so many things to be said here it's number eight is putting your baby first and um doing what you have to do for the baby first before you attempt to yourself yes that is one of the most um distinct and uh most important um this thing uh, after childbirth so you tend to everything you do the baby comes first baby comes first and um you attend to yourself maybe later maybe after attending to the baby's needs so that is just one of the basic issues it's not like an issue because it's one of the priority that you're supposed to do as a new mom so you have to do it you have to do it it definitely you definitely have to do it so people don't have to tell you that once you give birth as a new mom so many things will change on you but you 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 are now responsible to another human being when you remember that you're taking care of a whole woman being apart from yourself you're taking care of yourself and taking care of a, of a whole woman being so it's so much it's so taxing so this is things people don't actually tell you when um when you're pregnant so the last but not the least is going out becoming a huge tax going out you tend not to go out even if uh, even if you're out and um, your mind won't be alright because there is a baby there's another human be depending on you to feed there's another human be waiting for you there's somebody there waiting for you not to cry because you won't let your baby to cry so going out become a huge tax for you so even when you want to go out you begin to think how to pack your baby feeders how to pack your baby tower how to pack the pampas how to take the um the baby the wipe so many things to take out because maybe you have to poo poo you have to change the pampas you have to feed and so on and so forth so yeah so those are the things that this is a complete work <laughs> we women we need to be paid for this because it's a is 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 even more than government work so yes that is the work so if you know you learned from this video and this video is actually educating please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to give this a thumbs up and also like drop your comments contribute to let's just to subscribe subscribe to my channel i know i'll definitely see you guys on my next video bye